Hi everybody, Keith Arsenal here for HartfordHawks.com with head coach of the women's basketball team, Jennifer Rosati. We're here at the University at Albany for the America East Championship Tournament. Opening round, you've got Binghamton coming up. How do you see this matchup? Well, I think any matchup at this point of the year is difficult because you're playing a team for the third time. Uh, it's a competitive situation where every team needs to win to advance. Um, but I feel good about the way our team's played the last two weeks, the way we've practiced and come together. And I think that's primarily what it's about. It's not about your seed. It's not about your record. It's just about playing well at the right time. This week you had the week off, uh, a full, pretty much a full week here. What did you do to prepare this team for Binghamton coming up tomorrow? Yeah, I always get worried about having too much time and, and tending to over prepare. But we, we did just try to work a lot on fine tuning some things um, just going forward that we want to be better at on the offensive and defensive end. Obviously, we sprinkled preparation for Binghamton in there. But with four days to, of practice, they could come out and do anything. And they last year when we played them, they played a completely different game plan than we had seen the prior two times. So we tried to focus on less on guessing mm -hmm. what they were going to do and just being prepared ourselves for whatever we face this weekend. Now, finally, we just finished up with the postseason awards banquet. Four of your players honored. Yes. Uh, talk a little bit about that and how that makes you feel as a coach guiding these players. Well, you know, we're, we're all protective of our kids and wish that more of them could be all conference nominees. We know how much work they put in, especially our senior class every single day. And, um, you know, Ruth Ann's been an all conference player before, as is Daphne, and they weren't um, honored this year. And so it's hard for me to handle that. But at the same time, I look at what Nakia has done this year and uh, how well she's played and how consistent she's been for us. It was such a deserving honor that she was named to the second team. And Amber really has been our, probably our second most consistent player, and she's really blossomed as a sophomore. So it was great to see see them get recognized. Um, Katie Roth, you know, her and Amber are our future. So it's good to see that the other coach in the leagues recognize her as one of the top rookies. I think she had a up and down season, but overall you could see flashes of brilliance with Katie Roth. And, you know, most importantly, I think um, Alex Hall winning the academic award for a second straight year, as well as the SEFQ postgraduate scholarship. Uh, nothing makes us more proud when we have such a great representative of a student athlete on our program. And for her to be recognized throughout this conference as the top one, um, you know, it, it says a lot about her character. It says a lot about her accomplishments on and off the floor and her truly embodying everything that you're supposed to do and take advantage of when you come to college to play basketball. All right. Well, best of luck tomorrow, Coach. The Hawks tip off the America East Tournament 12 o'clock tomorrow on ESPN3. For HartfordHawks.com, I'm Keith Arsenault with head coach Jen Rosati.